So these are news in artificial intelligence uh, for this week. And uh, the main piece of news is, of course, Grok3, uh, which is now leading the leaderboard. Uh, but uh, let's start with it. Okay, so this is Grok3. Uh, this is the map of US, and you see the point where this data center, uh, what uh, Elon Musk actually did, he bought uh, uh, former Electrolux uh, buildings. So th 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 this is the address. <laughs> we actually can go there. And uh, you, you, you can see this uh, in, in Google Maps. So the, the, this is the building. And I don't know if you, you can probably put, no, it doesn't show. But, but anyway, uh, Electrolux, uh, you know, vacuum cleaners, kitchen appliances, whatever. This, this is a big, big uh, building. And uh, uh, Ellen uh, bought it and uh, put there his data center. It's called Colossus Data Center because this is the largest. Uh, right now, they have about 200,000 GPUs, H100, in it. So they first uh, put uh, 1,000 and then they put another 100,000. Uh, sorry, 100,000 and then another. Uh, the second 100,000 uh, GPUs they added in just four months. So it's really, really very fast. Uh, this facility needs a lot of energy, so they didn't have enough energy. So what they were doing, they were putting these big generators. Each generator is about 2.5 megabytes, megawatts. Uh, the total consumption on average is 50 megawatts of the whole data center. Uh, and uh, at peak times, it's 150 megawatts. So it's, it's a huge uh, data center. The model itself, uh, nobody knows the architecture. I mean, I couldn't find, but it looks like it's big. It's 2.7 trillion parameters. It has a reasoning layer. And uh, it will be available uh, like for premium users of uh, Twitter, of X, will be about $40 plus tax, whatever. So it's about $50 a month. Right now, for limited time, you can actually access it. You can go there. So this is x.com slash i slash grok, and you can ask questions and get answers. It works pretty fast, it may be like 200 tokens. Um, and uh, what else to, to, to say? There are several videos which explain the grok, how it is. There is some reasoning and uh, benchmarking. It, it looks pretty good. The, the, this is on the leaderboard, it's called chocolate because this was a code name for early Grok 3. And you see that it's like absolutely the best at this moment. Uh, OpenAI, of course, will try to beat them. And uh, maybe we will see another model from OpenAI in the next week or so. OK. Uh, perplexity. Uh, you know, I love perplexity. I am subscribed to the Pro. and. Uh, they added functionality, which is deep research. You know, OpenAI has it, Google has it, now Perplexity has it. You see it right here, deep research. So that means it goes online, it finds many pages, it summarizes them and writes you a report. Uh, Doge chatbot, it was open, but now they closed it. So a senior Elon Musk staffer created custom AI chatbot that purpose uh, to help the Department of Government Efficiency, which is Dodge, eliminate governmental waste. So people could uh, use it, submit data to it, but now it's closed. Uh, Samba Nova, I spoke about it uh, several times. Uh, this is a different hardware technology, which uh, provides very fast inference so it's not NVIDIA, it's something different. But you see how, how much faster they provide DeepSeeker 1, which is a huge model, uh, 671 billion parameters. And it provides this model at like 200 tokens per second, which is very, very fast. So uh, reinforcement learning for LLMs in 2025. This is a very nice YouTube video. Large memory model LM2, so memory augmented transform architecture to handle low context. So this is the article about that. Uh, 
fine O1 uh, <laughs> or fine O1. So this actually uh, nothing to do with O1. It has to do with uh, fine tuning Llama 318B, which is a small model. So fine tuning it uh, for finance. Next, uh, Microsoft Research Data Formulator. This is an interesting concept. So the system can uh, get instructions via natural language or it, uh, you can give it some examples what to do with data. And then it takes the data and it uh, does something what you want it to do with this data. It may be reshaping it and uh, eventually provides you data visualization. So it's coming from Microsoft. Uh, next, uh, CMOS chip maps uh, 70,000 synaptic connections between 2,000 red neurons. So what's interesting, it's only 2,000 neurons and connections between them, but they fit onto one chip. And if you look at how things are developing exponentially, like in several years, we may have the whole human brain on one chip. I mean, it is definitely a possibility. Uh, OpenAI uh, released paper, Competitive Programming with Large Reasoning Models. This is interesting. Uh, what they have done, they used the version of O1 model, which was specifically for solving Math Olympiad. And then they used the regular O3 models, uh, model, which is, uh, well, bigger, newer. And uh, they used them to solve uh, math problems. They both achieved gold medal results, but for O1, it's like a custom-made model, whereas O3 didn't have any customization. So they wrote, these results indicate that scaling general purpose reinforcement learning, which means O3, rather than relying on domain-specific techniques, offers a robust path towards state-of-the-art reasoning domains, such as competitive programming. Okay. Uh, next, enhance LLM reasoning with minimal data. So these are uh, two, two works, uh, this one and this one, they are related. Uh, this comes from Berkeley, this comes from Berkeley, Stanford and some other participants. But in both cases, there is a Quen uh, 2.5 32B instruct model, which is fine-tuned. And uh, in this case, uh, they uh, used on, only 17,000 a chain of thought examples, not millions examples, but just like less than 20,000 examples. And it was enough uh, to uh, fine tune it. So with minimum data, uh, convert the model into a reasoning model. And they use different techniques to do the fine tuning. And uh, you see here, uh, this blue one is the original model and the yellow and the uh, dark one, which one is this uh, fine-tuned and the gray is open o1 preview which is a big model whereas when uh, 32b is a small model right so so you definitely see very good results even sometimes beating o1 okay open thinker uh, 32b same thing when 32b instruct uh, they used open thoughts 100 uh, thousand uh, data set and it uh, outperformed DeepSeq R1 uh, despite using f uh, few resources. So this is, again, very interesting. Hugging 3.5B, very small. So you see it's on hugging face, uh, open source. Uh, reasoning and unique recurrent depth technique allowing to refine answers internally without requiring massive computational power. So very small model trained on 800 billion tokens and these machines, uh, proof of concept, but surprisingly capable for reasoning and code given its training budget and size. So again, all these uh, three works in the same direction. Less resources, cheaper, achieve good results. Multi-agent reinforcement learning framework for effective social deduction in AI communication, coming from Stanford. So this is the description of this work. Uh, NVIDIA chips to China through Singapore. This is actually a scandal. So Singapore accounts for nearly 28% of NVIDIA revenue in last year, right? 28%, this is a huge amount. Uh, but only 1% actually delivered into Singapore. Most of them are rerouted to other countries and probably mostly to China. 
So this is uh, Tom's uh, hardware describing this. Uh, MOBA, mixture of block attention for lock context LLMs. So usually when you build uh, attention matrix uh, in uh, transformer architecture, it goes uh, token by token, but here they go block by block, and this way they can handle uh, longer context uh, efficiently, right? Uh, next, uh, Deep Hermes 3 Preview. So it's a new LLM from News Research. These are very good people. A lot of open source development. Unifies reasoning, long chain of thought, improves answer accuracy, and normal LLM response into one model. It also improved LLM annotation, judgment, and function calling. Uh, Hermes is a very well-known uh, family of models. Um, a very good one, very respect. Okay, figure humanoid robot takes voice orders to help around the house. So this is the robot and you can tell it what to do and it will do it. So yeah, this is our future. Uh, next, uh, Mira Murati, a former CTO of OpenAI. She left OpenAI uh, mid last year and was kind of secretive. Uh, uh, nobody knew what uh, she was after, but finally she uh, tweeted that uh, she started a company called Thinking Machines Lab alongside a remarkable team of scientists, scientists from everywhere, even from Mistral. <laughs> like, so we're building three things, helping people adapt AI systems to work for their specific needs, developing strong foundations to build more capable AI systems, fostering a culture of open source science. Okay, th this is kind of different from open AI, <laughs> which is closed. Okay, that helps the whole field understand and improve these systems. Our goal is simple advanced AI by making broadly useful and understandable. So very generic, D doesn't say much. Nobody actually knows wh what they will be doing. So this is the uh, website, which is just one page. Uh, we'll see. Microsoft OmniParser V2, a tool to convert uh, UI screenshots into structured machine readable data. So you can use this tool uh, to convert screen into data and then you can use LLM, any LLM to work with this data, right? So enabling LLMs to understand and interact with various software interfaces. So this, this is a very useful development. FEDs to use uh, WebAssembly for security reasons. Uh, yeah, th th this is interesting. Um, uh, WebAssembly, this is a way to run compiled code in the browser. And uh, because it's compiled, it's not open like JavaScript. And uh, well, you still probably can hack it, uh, but it's more secure than uh, using JavaScript. Uh, this is uh, model performance on screen spot. Oh, no, th this is for, for Microsoft OmniParser. And you see that this is OmniParser here on the top. So you see it performs better than other tools available for understanding the screen. Okay, next, uh, the leaderboard. And what we see for English queries and coding. Yeah, th by the way, this, this is the link for the leaderboard, uh, LMCs. Uh, you see that uh, on the first places is XAI, is chocolate, which is early Grok 3. And uh, next goes Gemini Gemini, which is Google, and then ChatGPT uh, for O latest, and then O1, this is O3 high. So yellow is open AI, uh, green is open source, it's DeepSeeker 1. So, uh, What's happening that OpenAI has definitely lost the first position. So here it is on the fourth position. And yeah, they, they, they need to release a better model as soon as possible, which probably is important for them. What you can see also a lot of models from China, right? Uh, Claude uh, doesn't even get into the first models for English queries. It gets into coding. I still use it, I still like it, but maybe we need to try uh, XAI to see how it works. Now, as far as uh, layoffs, uh, yeah, in February we have uh, more layoffs uh, in numbers of employees. And uh, so th these are uh, companies which were laying off this year, 
Microsoft and Google were not included in this list. This is coming from layoffs.fyi website. Okay, uh, this is it. Thank you.